Well, pets are family members, of course, and like children, we want them to be on their best behavior. Specialized dog training fetches big bucks here in Las Vegas and promises the best dog for your home. All right, but one family who entrusted their puppy to a big name training business was devastated with the results. 13 Chief Investigator Darcy Spears has their not so happy tale. Lucky has been through a lot in her short life. I got her from a shelter. She was already in bad shape when I got her. A stomach full of rocks. I would lay next to her while she was not moving. You could hear the rocks churning. Led to emergency surgery when she recovered. So she really needed some training. Tammy Fewer paid nearly $3,400 for a two-week board and train program with off-leash canine training. And what I got was a frightened, scared, um, hurt puppy. During Lucky's training, Tammy would get videos and pictures, keeping her posted on the pup's progress. In one text exchange with the company's owner, she comments that Lucky looks anxious. He agrees she's not a very happy looking pup and says he and his partner are addressing it. The day before I'm supposed to pick her up, I get a text message from the trainer. The text notes irritation on Lucky's neck, claiming the vet said it's a rash. And I said, no, that, that's not a rash. That's something from the collar that you guys are using. This is the type of collar that would have been used on Lucky. You can see it's got two prongs here that would be consistent with the injuries to the dog's neck. Injuries the veterinarian diagnosed as electrical burns. The medical records contradict the trainer's text. It looks like neglect to me. It looks like pressure sores that the collar was left on too long. Say hi, come on. We first met Antonio Diaz of Leader of the Pack in 2019. I'm gonna have him walk towards me and then you can just practice calling him back to you. When he donated his time to repair damaged trust after another family's dog went for immersive training with sit means sit and came back with unexplained wounds, and lesions on his neck from an e-collar. In this industry, there aren't many regulations. In Nevada and just about everywhere else, no one is regulating or overseeing dog trainers to ensure they know how to train and treat the animals in their care. There's no education or licensing required. Down. Down. In addition to that, you can never really know what somebody is capable of or incapable of. 13 Investigates first exposed off-leash canine training two years ago after this video surfaced. You can see veteran dog trainer Willie Harrell appearing to threaten a leashed dog with a baseball bat while cursing and issuing commands. Harrell said he never hit or abused the dog. When North Las Vegas police opened an investigation, other dog owners reported their pets were mistreated while at off-leash, malnourished, matted, and, like Lucky, with neck injuries. According to this vet report for Patrick, there were concerns over a shock collar used by the trainer. The vet observed scabs all over his neck, a total of four of them appearing to be from burn lesions. From what they had told me that it was that the, from the shock collar being used to the point where it actually burned his skin. Harrell was stripped of his franchise license and off-leash canine training is now under new ownership. It's because when you're crate training a dog, you want to give him only access. Off-leash owner Tom McGovern texted Tammy after Lucky was injured, apologizing and writing, please let me know if there's anything else I can do. I feel horrible. If you find another trainer you're comfortable with, I'd like to cover up to a grand of the expenses. I'm so sorry about this. When Tammy finally did find another trainer and tried to take him up on that offer. He had blocked me. He had blocked me and so did the manager. So yeah, that I can't even get in touch with him anymore. McGovern declined to go on camera for this story. He sent a statement saying once I was aware of the situation, I did my best to make things right. I fully refunded the client, mentored and reprimanded my trainer so that the situation does not happen again. We, including that specific trainer, have received numerous positive reviews and compliments of our services since that incident. He pointed to these testimonials. I uh, struggled with some reactivity and just needed some general obedience training. And um, after two weeks, she's 
really doing amazing, so highly recommend. He knows his commands. Sit. Sit. And that he uh, has learned a ton these last two weeks. He does really well in public. Saying they represent the vast majority of his customers. As for Lucky. Down. 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 Lucky. Down. Good girl. Of course, Good the girl. dog whisperer over here. Uh -uh, down. She's getting retrained Come here. Okay. and learning to trust. Sit. Good girl. Darcy Spears, 13 Investigates.